Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. We are right here starting off at camp at the water hole that's become famous for all the elephants that come and drink here. Glovu Dam, which means elephant dam, and we are right at the northern part of the dam. We've managed to find the shade of a flowering knob thorn tree. And therefore we are now going to sit here and wait and see what comes and drink. Buffalo herds not too far away from here from what we've heard about this morning. Got elephants already. There might be more coming. We're going to sit right here. Hot day, hot afternoon. My name is Chris. With me on camera, Ops, OD is back. Uh, Gert has gone back to Juma and OD is back in the seat. And we are going to literally just sit here and wait to come and drink. It's 35 degrees Celsius at the moment. It is hot and it's going to be a hotter tomorrow morning. Oh, there's the cubs. Hello. The cubs are just emerged and then they hide behind mum's bum. So it looks like it is that. Ah, there we go. Little guys. <laughs> Time for a milk. Well, we have found them in the west. Three cheetah boys got them in my binoculars from a distance. Just on the top of this highest point. Now they've decided it's time to start walking. We're back. Now three cheetah boys. They've moved probably a kilometer from where we last had them. Alert and watchful. They're very regal boys. Get a good perspective of that tail there as it moves it around. How very much like a rudder it is. Well, a blackback jackal, everybody. I know we don't get to see many of these up in Juma, although they are there. We see them here every day, but they often aren't very accommodating. Morgan told me that soon there will be some jackal pups, and they will be spending some time at some jackal dens. Morgan, am I correct? Indeed. Indeed which will be great value. I've spent time at a bat-eared fox den up in the Mara, which was really cool. And then nearby was actually a black back jackal den as well. And then in December this year, we spent some time with some jackal pups as well. Very, very special to see. It's impossible to show you exactly what we're seeing here. You've got maybe a quarter of the herd now in the water, maybe half. The rest have just streamed inches from the left-hand side of the vehicle and off to drink behind us. It's been the most wonderful experience. Isn't that lovely? Very special. <laughs> Here we go. Sunday swim time has now commenced. Excellent. There we go. Marvellous. Hmm. 
And I think the youngsters, the teenagers in these groups love meeting up with other herds. And I mean this in all seriousness, they make new friends, meet up with elephants they don't often see. Now, I think I've said this before, but you'll read all sorts of things about why elephants do this, especially after they've been swimming. They will often cover themselves in sand. And, you know, I guarantee you right now, all around South Africa, there are guides saying things like, well, you know, they put uh, sand on their bodies there to uh, get rid of uh, pissats and because uh, yeah, it's good for skin health and uh, sun protection. And then they'll move on to the next sighting. I remain completely unconvinced by either of those things because I don't see how that helps with parasites and I've yet to read any kind of scientific literature that indicates elephants that don't throw sand on themselves have a higher parasite load that, than those that do. Well, we've found ourselves some hyenas <laughs> here. Boo, this hyena is demonstrating to you just precisely why it is that so many would agree with you that hyenas are very cute because he or she is demonstrating great cuteness. Hyenas are sometimes not cute, but on really hot days, hyenas, unusually for a lot of mammals, just like to swim. They like to lie next to the water or lie in the water, and it's not very common. And I, you know, you don't find the cats doing it. And I suspect it's probably got to do with the smell, perhaps. All right, thanks, Phil. You've got that beautiful male white rhino. We just missed the entire thing with him. I'm busy um, marking one of his uh, middens here around. And he is now making his way up. Beautiful white rhino. I'm sad that we missed that part now. We actually pretty much did his business and then he kicked it around just like with one of the middens just to create a bigger midden. So that is one way of him marking the territory.